Another big story tonight, the labor battle of Columbus City Schools continues. 20 meetings. That's how many times the district and the union have met but failed to agree on a new contract. The latest meeting started this morning with a federal mediator but ended this afternoon with no decision. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with both sides on what happened and how close we are to a compromise. Ashley. Well, Andrew, both sides tell me they are disappointed and frustrated that they can't come to an agreement. CCS board president Jennifer Adair says the board is willing and ready to compromise to get teachers and students back into the classroom in just two weeks, but says the union is unwilling to have productive conversations. Now on the union side, President John Coneglio says that he believes the board wants to jump to an economic agreement, while CEA is focused on non-economic issues first and agreed upon process. These issues include things that can pose a threat to students like heating and cooling in the school buildings. We are extraordinarily disappointed about today's bargaining session. While we came to the table ready to negotiate and ready to consider a comprehensive counter to the board's offer, CA has not responded in good faith. Are renovated buildings, newly renovated buildings that have uh, were literally, uh, you know, roofs leak. The heat doesn't work. I can. There's there's numerous buildings where just because they there is heating and cooling in those buildings doesn't mean that it always works. Now, Coneglio tells me that as of tomorrow, they will be filing that 10 day strike notice, but this does not mean a strike is imminent. Now, in the last hour, I spoke with some parents who were sharing their frustrations on social media and their concern for what this means for not only their children, but the entirety of their families. We'll keep you updated on air and online as these negotiations continue. But as of right now, there's not a scheduled next meeting. Andrew, Brittany.